Didn't you used to have the body and the physique of a world champion? Now, no offense, you're so frail, you make crack whores jealous. Oh my god. Why he said it? And just like that, I'm right back. 205 God, yeah, Eldrick reacts. You know, sometimes you just gotta tell the truth. Sometimes you gotta tell people that do what you do that I'm better than you. And you know it. It's 215 God if you ain't heard Ask Around. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm Eldrick Valentine. You up your ground when I'm around. Yeah. MJF. <laughs> he definitely one of those guys. I felt like in the midst of the whole WWE thing, um, in other companies, there was one guy who always had that attention, that buzz, that you know, it factor to make you watch. And that one guy is MJF. Now, I kind of fell off from, from um, AEW since, um, I want to say, CM Punk had that whole thing backstage and apparently it was a fight with everybody. But it's not even about CM Punk. Hopefully he comes back. Cause that'll be interesting for wrestling too. But MJF, man, this dude stays consistent. Um, I haven't really paid attention to him in a while, but now he's got a few with Adam Cole, you know. Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, yeah I haven't really, honestly, I haven't really paid attention to Adam Cole since he came to AEW. But I know he's always been that dude too. Now, this is the thing with this. I always known MJF to have incredible, well, if not incredible, attention bringing and shock value promos. But I don't know if Adam Cole can bring out that same energy. I don't know if he was ever that unique on the on, on the promos. I'm not sure. But we're gonna see this time, man. I love seeing these, man. They said Adam Cole confronts the devil. Of course they talk about MJF. But let's watch it, man. Let's get into this one. I was instantly hooked. I mean, genuinely, instantly hooked. And when I started training to become a pro wrestler, I got as much of your tape as I could possibly get my hands on. I watched you oh, all really? the way to your days in CZW, where you won championship gold. I watched He's you them up. go to every single top independent and become the hottest free agent in the world. Agent. And then <laughs> I watched you go down to Florida and shock the system. You were so what they used good. To do? You I were forget. Shawn Michaels' handpicked guy. You were so good. You became the greatest world champion in the history of that company. And that, my friend, is undisputed. I see we did undisputed era. I seen that he went back to the Indies recently and he had a great match. And when you did, check that out. Me and you check that out. would have the rivalry of a lifetime. Two generational talents. MJF versus Adam Cole. Okay. But then, then this guy showed up. Hmm. <laughs> you used to be the Panama Playboy. Now you're the Panama Game Boy. Oh, you sit at you home be them games. computer, playing Twitch, hiding from the sun, looking like a virgin golem. Wow. Meanwhile, Britt Baker keeps leaving the house with your balls firmly in her purse. And to make matters 
was worse, bud. Didn't you used to have the body and the physique of a world champion? He, he, he just pressing every button. Now, no offense, you're so frail, you make crack whores jealous. Oh my God. Why he say that? I, I feel like he could just, just he got the green light to say anything he wants. And, and anything, that means anything. People say online, they're saying it's not your fault. They're saying this company is simply, they're not showcasing you properly. And to you people I say, you don't have a who what you're talking about. They let him say everything else, but they want to censor that. Come on. This company has done everything in its power to make you cool. The lights, the music, the cool t-shirts, the big match opportunities, the girl, your own reality show. You know what they do yeah, to make MJF show? cool? Who's that? They ring the freaking bell. Okay. I would have told them you got a backup though. Sound familiar? You gonna get out of my face with that. Greatest singles dog collar match of all time. Greatest Iron Man match of all time. Greatest four way of all time. The world champion, the best professional wrestler on God's green earth. Talk your shit. That may not be true, but uh, talk your shit. I have beaten every single top guy. These people thought we're on my level. What makes you think you're gonna be any different, bud? And before you answer that, I read a nasty little rumor about you online, buddy. Oh no. They blur the lines between reality and, and fiction. That the reason you made the jump to this company is because a certain individual in Titan Towers didn't think you had top guy potential. Mm. Mm. And that individual's name was Vince McMahon. Oh, he's name dropping. I didn't know they was allowed to do that. They got different rules over here, man. That's why I like AEW. Big fan, by the way. That's because you're trying to go there next. But but I feel like if he goes to WWE, he can't be this you version of MJF. I'm not that dirty. But I gotta be honest, bud. Now that I'm standing eye to eye with you in my ring, you know what I think? I think Vince was right. Ooh, ooh, that's a hurt piece. Not, not agreeing with Benny Mac. No, Adam Cole, your clamp back gotta be strong. It gotta be super strong. They gotta be super strong, man. He just got you the hell out of here. If it's weak, this is like career defining stuff right here. Really? Uh, was that the best that you got? This is this is the great MJF, the guy who verbally destroys people on the microphone. Instead, you're coming across like a toxic social media troll. Okay. Now, now, there's a ton of things I can comment on. First and foremost, I'm going to brush over the Brit part because I'm pretty sure she could beat the hell out of you. But what exactly is your obsession with other people's relationships? Right. Uh, like first it was Brian and now it's me. Now listen, I understand your fiance left you and you can't hold a relationship if your life depended on it, but come on. Ooh, we get personal. <laughs> it out. MJF, you are world class. You're a world class douchebag. That was like a real PG insult. Come on, Adam Cole. We gotta do a little bit more better than this. This dude goes low. You gotta get just as low. You gotta, you gotta go to hell with it. You know what I'm saying? How could we not talk about my body? Not like I've heard that one before. You know why you bring that up? Because of my body of work. Mm. I did the matches mm. that I've had, the interviews that I've done, the world championship reigns that I've had. Max, get real. You can't touch me. Okay. But, but if you really, really do want to go down that road, I got an idea, Max. 
how about me and you both walk backstage? We both piss in a couple of cups and we see who's natural and who's not. Whoa! Oh! He said he's all the juice. Hold it, he got him. So. He said he's juicing. I can appreciate and understand that you studied my career, but we are nothing. We are nothing alike. Because for 15 years, I have traveled the globe, shared locker room after locker room, this one included, and those boys and girls back there, they respect me. Okay. I know that I've been a bad guy Shock. in the past, but as a wrestler, as a man, they respect me, the human being, Adam Cole. You, on the other hand, Max, I don't know how to make this any more clear. I. I swear on my life, there's not a single person back there who respects you. And if you were to go up to any of them and ask, do you respect me? They would laugh in your face. They think you're selfish. They think you're conceited. They think you're lazy. You do the bare minimum, the bare minimum to collect that paycheck and walk around with that world title. Mm -hmm. Max, I speak for me. I speak for everyone in that locker room and a whole hell of a lot of people here no one respects you. Now, now I respect them, but it's like. Man, I'm pretty sure he gets respect. Wow. And there it is. There it is. Uh, of course, MJF has to create a false narrative to hide from the fact that you're a coward of a champion. And if you were a real champion, you would tell me to shut my mouth and you would fight me. But you're not doing that because you are a coward. You hear me? And... Is Adam Cole still injured or not? I'm not, not I don't know. Okay, because I know that I'm wasting my breath. I know everything I'm saying is going to go straight over that dome of yours. So if you remember anything from our little conversation, remember this. You won't fight me because I'm better than you. And they know it. All right, that was the, one of the most unique... Oh, that gave me very clear vibes. So I ain't going to Then let's do it. Atta boy, champ. Looks like we got ourselves a match. Adam Cole, baby. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. I like that. I like that. Um, I like I like that little exchange they had right there adam cole you, 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 eh, eh, he did he, he did good he did good it's that that promo was not as good as a uh mjf and a cm punk it wasn't on that level but i felt like he he, he hit him with a couple shots you know as far as like the personal stuff i, I look at wrestling promos nowadays like uh you know well, at least the AEW ones, anyway, because WWE, I, I swear, I, it's like they limit it on the stuff they can say. But as far as the personals, it's like it's, it's kind of like battle rap. You gotta expect it. This the, nothing's off limits. Nothing, nothing is off limits. If if it's it's sport, let's put it like that. It's sport. The things they say are sport. You can't take it personally. Hopefully, they don't go fight in the back tomorrow. So, oh, why did you say that? MJF, at this point, you got to expect people to say things about you in your personal life because you you didn't came in everybody else's personal life. So, it is what it is. But I'm looking forward to that match, and I'm looking forward to more MJF, man. But time is something you could never have back. But y'all spend your time with me, so I appreciate y'all for that. Wait, it's not too late. No, I won't stop until I got eight. 100 subscribers. <laughs>
Yeah. I want to tell y'all that I'm sorry that I'm not a strictly wrestling. I know a lot of you love the wrestling videos that I do, but I'm I'm not strictly wrestling. This is not one of those channels where it's just all wrestling. So it's like it's just a part. It's just a part of me. It's part of the things that I like. And if you like it. If you just hear, if you simply just hear for that, then that's fine. If you hear for everything I do, that's fine too. But just know, whatever you do here, or whatever the time you spent here, is appreciated. And I thank you.